Well, Thanksgiving is over and Christmas is here, whether you're ready or not. I guess you don't have to be ready. I guess there's still like three weeks left. Anyways, someone recently sent me a question about the wise men and the role that they played in that first Christmas night. And I love questions like this because it challenges my assumptions about what I think I already know about the Christmas story. And I think as we read stories that are really familiar to us, like the Christmas story, we just gloss over some details that really we should be questioning. Like, why did the wise men stop in Jerusalem? If they're following a star, why did the star lead them all the way to Jesus? And how many wise men were there? Sure, we sing songs about three, and I have three in my nativity set, but, but there probably were more or less than three. I don't know. And so sometimes when we come to Scripture, we're not questioning the validity of Scripture. We're, we're just asking questions of Scripture and what really happened on that first Christmas night. So amongst all the traditions that you have, the festivities that you're prepared for, the family you're going to see, take some time to read the Gospels and what they really say about that first Christmas night. Let me pray for us. Dear Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you that we get to really investigate what it says and, and read for ourselves what's there. We thank you for your son Jesus that we get to celebrate his birth because we know how he lives his life and we know that he lived his life for our salvation. And so I pray during all of the hustle and bustle and busyness of Christmas that we can continue to focus on your son Jesus and what he did for us. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect. We look forward to seeing you Sunday at 845 or 1030. For more information, visit our website, norwinchristianchurch.com.